Hello and a very warm welcome to this tutorial series about the IF2 synthesizer from UE in version 2.1. And in this episode, the fourth episode, I talk about envelope generators, LFO, and the scope. But let's get started. So this is a little intro for this episode because <laughs> um, we just used no sawtooth and I thought this may be a little bit like a ear pleaser teaser <laughs> and yeah okay but let's get started let's init this sound and now put it on a bigger scale and this tutorial I talk about um, the envelopes the amp1 mod1 lfo1 lfo2 on this side mod2 amp2 on this side but only um, because it's only mirrored on the other side we just focus on this one side and the scope here the scope is this um, oops, <laughs> this here, and let's talk first about the scope. So um, I turn down the volume a little bit, and the scope is in its default setting something that shows you your stereo output, and that's it. So you can see it, and above you have two knobs, two icons. The one I used is here monochrome display. So you see everything in one color. And this is a more colorful display. Depends on what you are displaying. And that's uh, that's something um, you can configure here as well because this is a, like a zoom button. If I um, play a note, I can zoom in like here. So at the end I have something like an uh, oscillator and this I can move around. I don't know why you can move it around, but you can. Maybe make it a little bit like this. And here's a snowflake where you can freeze the display when you're playing something. You can see your waveform like this. And another big advantage of the scope is that you can um, see modulations. And uh, for example, if I use uh, the modulation from the LFO1, this um, cross, 
I just um, pull it in the scope and like drag and drop. And now I should see the LFO. I don't know why I don't see the LFO. I should see it, but I don't see it. Maybe I put this one. No, something something happened right now. Maybe I initialize it again. Zack. Don't know why this doesn't work. Now it works. Okay. So and there you can see this is the LFO in its speed and its waveform. If I change the waveform, you see change down the rate, you see it's a sine wave, for example. And the same you can do with the um, AMP1 envelope generator. I just put it in here. And as soon as I play a note, sorry, you see the envelope, slower attack. And this is the envelope. So let's start with the AMP1 envelope generator. This is the amplitude envelope generator um, for the volume. And with this, you have this down arrow, uh, down arrow where you can click with the left mouse button. And there you have copy paste, save this preset or save this options or parameters that you dialed in. Show your preset if you saved it in the file explorer and then you have your presets here. You can init, so everything is back to um, its original state. Or you can choose um, one of those medium plug, short plug of those presets here, or funky wop or something. Mm. Needs more funk. I just use the init again so you have the default state when uh, when you init the whole patch but just for this one so and um, the same is here with the mod one like copy paste show uh, mod uh, save envelope settings uh, settings <laughs> show in file explorer init and all the presets here and sure you can like if I use this and copy it here and paste it here, you have the same settings here. The same goes for the other AMP2 and MOD2 as well. So in here is um, modulation cross and this modulation cross you can put everywhere you want as well in the scope as I showed it. And um, you can modulate the amp itself with its own settings. So what you what you do with the with the envelope, for example, just put the volume a little bit down. We don't need to hear that a lot. So if I put the and maybe you can click down here on one of them and uh, just delete it. So you you have just the envelope you put in here. You and you can. Um, put um, five different modulation sources in here that can be displayed or you can uh, left click on it and choose it here like this one or if i delete it here for example as well none so i have as well uh, have again the stereo output here or i pull the modulation source in the scope and now i have this modulation source I see in the scope. So now I dial in a little bit of um, attack, a little bit of decay, then uh, lower sustain level and a higher release, maybe like that. And you all know this, the ADSR is like attack is the time um, from zero to max volume. The decay is the time from the max volume to the sustain volume level. This is the volume level, the loudness, not the loudness, um, how loud the, the um, sound is. And the release is when I release the key and uh, how long it takes until the sounds disappears. 
And here you can see this is attack. This is the attack phase, this is the decay phase until sustain and this is the release phase. Maybe I just do that again. Now wait, maybe it's so like this. So attack, decay, here's the sustain and this is the release. Okay, and you can uh, now uh, modulate um, all the um, levels or, or steps itself. And this means if I, for example, modulate the attack time, so I just um, pull the modulator on here, then I get this red dot. And when I click on this red dot, I can move it up or move it down with the click mouse button. And you see this um, this line going up and down, so I can modulate it in positive direction or in negative direction. So you see the attack phase in the, in the scope here, it's a normal line, nothing special about it. But when I modulate it in the positive way and press a button, wait, like this, you see, the this is not a normal line anymore. This is a um, convex line. And if I modulate it in the negative direction and play again a sound, it's very, very short. Maybe I do a, longer, a longer attack. You see the line is more concave line, like a slow and then a very fast attack. And this is how you can um, modulate uh, your own uh, envelopes. So you have a better control about uh, your envelope. It's not like the standard envelope. You can say, okay, it has to raise quick and go slow to the max. And then it uh, falls down first slow and then quick down to the sustain level, for example. Right click somewhere here, remove amplitude. Oh, I have, uh, I've put it uh, two times. Okay, so every time you modulate something, you can click on it, right click on it and remove it, for example. If you modulate something or several things, you can modulate these, uh, things and these things and modulate these and these and those you can um, and you, you you're you're clicking somewhere else and you want to know oh okay what what did I modulate with this button so you click on this modulator button then you see everything what's highlighted is here um, highlighted as well and you can click uh, on right and then you see these are all the modulations you did. The same or something similar you can see down here in the modulation matrix, but, but that's another uh, video. But here you have an overview about, okay, the M1 modulates the decay, the release, the M1 modulates the mod N1 decay, the release, the M1 modulates and so on and so forth. So there's another way to look at it. Okay, and deleting it, right click, click on it, and now you can delete it, or you can go on, on these and delete it here, or remove it, not, maybe not delete it. This one, no, what's this? There's still one, and here, another two. Removed and removed, for example. Okay, and both of those envelopes um, have as well the velocity, and the velocity is something, if it's off like it is now, I press a button, maybe I... I still have...
I still have somewhere. Oh no, this is the envelope. So this is my envelope. Um, slowish attack, a slower decay, and um, slow release, and this is the cutoff. So now I can make it a little bit slower, for example. Um, this is just about the volume. Maybe, maybe I take a fast attack, slow decay, and the sustain and the release. So, with the velocity down, I can um, hit the key hard or slow. It's always the same volume. And if I um, pull up the velocity, now I can play with the different volumes, like if I hit the keys very soft and harder. Maybe I put the volume more low so you can hear it far better. So very soft touching keys and harder. Like this. And the same goes with the uh, mod one volume. It's, uh, it's completely the same. And here you can, for example, um, modulate the filter with the mod one. This is hardwired. And if I put the velocity higher, then you see the um, how you say that um, the the filter is um, more or less moved when I hit the keys harder. I hit it softer. If I hit them softer, the um, the movement is not that big as if I hit the keys far harder. So if I just hit them very soft. You see the the filter isn't moving at all. If I hit it a little bit harder, it's moving a little bit. If I hit it really hard, then it's moving. So these standard velocity, but I think you know that all. And then you have the gate and the um, gate. Let's Put that maybe a little bit back. And the gate is um, like if I hit a key, this is gate signal, so it starts. Put the cut off a little bit higher. So the, for example, the um, amplifier envelope generator starts. Put slow attack. Every time I hit a key, it starts. Left click on that, you have some different um, options here. The next is one shot. And the one shot is, I just have to hit a key and it plays the whole envelope. If I hit the key again and hold it, it just plays only the envelope. So the time counts of the attack and decay, sustain level is, I don't know, maybe it's, it's just used for um, the time from decay to sustain. Let's make the sustain very low. The sustain is only used for the um, volume the decay will reach from maximum. So if I put the sustain on maximum, there is no decay because um, there, there might be only the decay time, but there is no um, difference in volume from decay to sustain. So I, I hit the key. 
and only the the um, envelope is played through like a one shot and then there are the two LFO the two LFOs LFO1 this one here and the LFO2 on the right side and this means that um, this envelope is um, a little bit or is bound to the LFO but only um, to the face and to the rate so it loops with the um, with the LFO so if I play now maybe a shorter attack I just hold down a key and it repeats if I increase the rate And you can hear if I put that on here, does doesn't work. Ah. Oh. Oh, there are too, too many amps. Just let I just uh, remove one. So this is the LFO, and this is the amp. And you see this, um, it starts with a face as a gate signal and ends then with a face and starts again with a face. And I can shift the face around. And you see it's dependent on the face. <laughs> you can modulate it as well <laughs> to get some, some weird uh, results and the face is important if the if, uh, the rate is important and if the rate is too fast sometimes it could be that that the envelope can't be played at its hold because um, you dial in times in here so it will just use a little bit of the attack time and go to the release time maybe because attack time is too long or decay time is too long so it can't reach the rest until the the next trigger comes from the um, LFO and says, okay, stop, stop it. And then the release time is, uh, is starting. So if I put a long release time and short attack and decay, slow rate. Very slow. For example, this is LFO1 and LFO2. And the same goes with the mod 1, like the gate on every key press. And uh, the one shot just plays here through the LFO1 and the LFO2. That's a rhyme. Okay. Then we have the LFO one here, same on the LFO two side. And the LFO one has also this uh, down arrow where you can copy and paste, to save your LFO settings in it. For example, I choose a preset like wobble tri triangle or or no, triples or, or blubber, I don't know, anything like this. And there you have the um, modulation um, cross here again. So I have two LFOs, I didn't want that. Left click here and selecting none. So with this, um, LFO, you have different waveforms. You click here on the name like so up, so, and standard is triangle. You can select a sine, for example. You see now in the scope that's a sine wave. Left click, you can use triangle. Then you can use uh, so up. 
then a saw down, then a square high low, high low. You can use as well the mouse wheel to change it. Low high is the next one. Random and hold, or sample and hold, and random glide. And random glide is like a smooth sample and hold or random and hold. Then um, put it back to um, the sine wave, for example. Then you can change the polarity. So here um, you have uh, negative and positive values. If you um, disable the uh, bipolar polarity, you just only have positive values. You see it here in the on the line. Like this is the zero line, positive, negative, and you see it here as well. And here you see it's always on the positive. And then um, I talked about the phase, where the where the um, LFO is starting. And if I mess with the phase around, you can you you could um, modulate that as well, like from amplifier, maybe like here, and modulate it. And if you and if you just change that, for example. So uh, when you modulate something, there's always like uh, this red dot. If you click on that red dot, you can modulate that. And if you don't want to have that anymore, you or you modulate something, you can double click on it and it jumps back in here. Or you can right click somewhere else, not on the on the red dot, somewhere else on this um, on this parameter. Right click and remove the modulation. Okay, so the rate is just uh, tempo, the speed of the LFO, and on the right side you have a restart. When is this um, LFO restarted? With a gate, like when you press a key, make it more slow. Every time I press a key, the modulator is triggered and I could um, dial in the LFO. For example, and now you hear the LFO working with this hardwired one. You can put it on unipolar. So it go, just goes in one direction, upwards, and faster. Okay, then um, I have a sync button, and the sync button is nothing else than uh, syncing with your DAW speed, with your DAW BPM, beats per minute. Maybe I should select that. And if you look at the display here, and I change my door speed like slower. You see the LFO is going slower. If I get faster, the LFO will get faster too. Let's put it back on 110% uh, uh, beats per minute, not percent. <laughs> okay, then you have um, the gate and the singer. With the gate is every uh, note I press, there will be um, LFO started. So you can play with this, so every um, key press will have its own LFO working on that. And sometimes you want that, but sometimes you don't want, want that. And uh, when it's not synced with your uh, DAW, uh, you um, just select single and then um, all the wobbling with the LFO will be synchronized. Like I press a key now, and now I press the other key. And they're all wobbling together in this LFO. Uh, nicely synchronized. And the random, maybe you know that. <laughs> random is just um, on every key press, there's a random uh, start of the LFO. Mm -hmm. 
I press a, a, a chord. For example, and the rate always goes with what I'm doing here. So let's take gate again. And this is um, like from um, 0 0.1 seconds, uh, one second. So I can put the rate on here, like second is here. Double click. This is faster than a second. This is slower than a second. And the same goes with, with this. You can generate some sounds with that. Very strange sounds. And as well, and the normal like uh, 64th, 32th, 16th, 8th, 4th se uh, seconds. Um, one bar, then the dotted values, the triplet values, and then longer than one bar, two bars, three, four, five, six, seven, eight bars. You can dial that in and always change the rate with that. And you sure you can modulate as well um, with the different modulator options. You could try to modulate it itself. I don't know what's happening right now. That's slow. It's the same like with convex and concave lines. Maybe I just take a triangle because normally that is like normal lines and not like round lines. <laughs> Looks nice actually. I'll double click on it, then you have the standard, the default. Now moving up on the positive side, you get concave lines. And on the other side, you get convex lines. That's nice. Maybe I could... Now we are talking. Just using the face itself. Now I build a tent. <laughs> okay, so you see, you can you can modulate itself and get some very nice, interesting results on that. Just put that on slow, for example. Okay, everything's gone now. That's interesting. Maybe as well with another, maybe with a square. Okay, yeah, that's not so interesting. The triangle was far more interesting. Or maybe with the sign. It's like a drunken trumpet. <laughs> or somebody did something, did, did some water in the trumpet. Okay, <laughs> let's stop it here because um, I start experimenting again. So that's everything about the um, envelope, gen uh, envelope generators AMP1 uh, and MOD1 and AMP2 and MOD2 on the other side and the LFOs, the two LFOs, LFO1 and LFO2. I hope you liked it um, and um, leave me some feedback. I'm always um, very happy to get some feedback from you. Um, just write it under the video, just share the videos if you like that and um, yeah, see you soon in the next video. Stay healthy, see you soon. Ciao, ciao. Thank you.